What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Austin Toski here of the Maize and Blue Review, coming at you here with the highlights of Michigan Wolverine basketball over Wayne State. They win 87-54 to in the opening exhibition of the season. Diving into highlights, a little bit of analysis. We'll get into it here in a second. Number one, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're getting, I think, close to 300 subscribers now. I'm not keeping track. We're going to get to 1,000. All right, help us get there. Number two, leave a comment with your favorite play and your biggest takeaway from this game. Hop on over to the boards over at michigan.rivals.com and join the discussion there. Let's get into the highlights. I've talked long enough. Starting right away here, Wayne State came out hot, okay? They were able to get some offensive boards throughout this game. Here, deep, deep shot over Devontae Jones, and they take the lead, 3-0. Here, Caleb Houston, a little shot fake. This is such a nice thing from a freshman to have already. All right, let's back up here real quick, and C.J. Baird uh, can probably explain this a little bit better for, than I can, but it's a nice job here to fake on the shot. He's going to attack this, get both of these players uh, to react to this movement, and that's going to open up Eli Brooks in the corner here. So this is just a nice little veteran. You see that? He, he's threatening that gap there. 14 Owens has to oh, has to help out on the defense there. 33 Lewis not in position there for Wayne State. That opens up the, the corner three for Eli Brooks. He's able to bury it, and we're tied at three. Moving forward here, nice little step back. Owens, their best player for Wayne State, able to get that shot over Eli Brooks, and they, again, started out pretty hot here. Here, Dickinson, nice recognition there. Again, Wayne State, they have to do something, right? They don't have the size. They bring over 33 from the lane. He's going to help out on this defense. Johns is going to recognize that, right? As soon as he comes over, that's going to open up a gap here. It's a good job from Dickinson kind of falling off this a little bit. Right, he's going to fall off, recognize that, boom, finds Johns, crashing the lane, puts in the easy basket here. Wasn't the cleanest game, though. 17 turnovers in this one for Michigan. That one, Johns, pass deflected, not the best. Here, Wayne State, not <laughs> the best on turnovers in their own right here. Caleb Houston, again, very comfortable with the ball. Nice little floater through the lane. He looked way more veteran than a freshman here. Dickinson, first of a couple uh, goal tens here. Devontae Jones, Coastal Carolina transfer, finding a nice trailing uh, Adrian Nunez here, TikTok star, right? So this is just a smart job from Devontae Jones, right? Coming down the lane, figuring out on the fast break. You have numbers. Where is an easy basket? He finds Adrian Nunez filling in a really nice spot here on the wing, right? So you only have two defenders back. Uh, Debate is crashing the lane. You also have Dickinson flowing here. But this is a nice open shot, right? No one's going to be able to get out to this wing right there and uh, finds him. Nice job in transition. Nice, easy shot in flow there for Nunez. And he's got a pretty stroke. Um, the So this is not me, okay? This is the stream. The stream was not the best. I paid six bucks for you guys here. But right here, <laughs> we don't get to see all the glory that is this block, this is something that Musa Giabate just threw into the crowd there, and then it goes black screen, all right? So that's what we were dealing with in this stream, so apologize for some of that. Terrence Williams coming out, joining the block party here. Here's what Diabate can bring you, right? Fast break with his length, able to get back, provide a very heavily contested shot here. Here, Wayne State, though, nice little play off of the inbounds pass, just a simple screen here on the left side. Boom. He's going to cut to the basket. I think Houston, he has to recognize this and help out defense here. Nunez has to obey the wing here for 14, one of their best shooters. So he can't really help. So a little bit Houston, um, you know, not recognizing that. And it turns into an and one for Wayne State. Here you have the young guy, Giabate, again with the buffering video but look at these post moves right nice little step through here recognizes all right i got a couple bodies here puts the ball on the uh on the on the wood there and just nice footwork right watch that right foot step boom steps through again boom and able to put that back probably could have been an and one and uh that footwork looking really really good for the true freshman five star jay again they're affecting the shot there, able to get the rebound as well here, drive to the basket. Buffkin can't get back. It's another freshman. We're going to talk about a lot of them here. Nice little play to get Williams open, right? Really nice job here. You set the screen there for Musa Giabate. 
after the screen, Giovanni is going to crash the lane, right, on the pick and roll here. Uh, because he's crashing the lane here, this guy has to help, right? There's no defender down here, so this guy has to fall off. As a result of that, that's going to create a lot of space here for Terrence Williams on the wing. So because of that, boom, now Terrence Williams all alone on the wing, can't get out there to defend, and that's an easy three-pointer. So just really efficient offense, right? That's what you like to see thus far. Here, again, the offensive boards can't let it happen. Too much watching down low, one of the areas of concern. Now, this is a new stadium, probably a new staff as well. Let's watch the guy on mop duty. Good job after Giabate fell. And then, oops, lost the handle. What are you doing? So not all things were great, right? This with that, not supposed to happen. Just calling it how I see it, all right? But got off the court. He's looking at his manager saying, what's going on? He set me up to fail. On the court, this guy getting charges. Devontae Jones, right? Defensive maestro from Colster, Carolina. Good job setting his feet here, accepting that contact. And we get the bald, the bald guy again. If you watch any of my videos, love this guy. Looking like Lord Voldemort out there. Calls the charge, love it, with conviction. Here, you can't let Dickinson this low in the post. Over the, the left shoulder there with the right hand, showing off the other way here as well, using the left hand. So he's able to use both the right and left hand on back-to-back -back possessions there. That's a good sign, something he improved on in the offseason. This is a nice little shot, nice little step back, right? Caleb Houston, guarding number 10 there, that's Robinson. Nice little long-range two. And uh, they're sticking around. Wayne State is here. Just a beautiful pass, right? Let's back up. This play is just absolutely wonderful to watch. Off the pick and roll, right? You get some space. Devontae Jones, really good athlete. He's going to get some space here. Because he's faster than this defender, this guy needs to fall off and help defend. And that's going to allow a pass right around the baseline here to Dickinson, who's going to trail and follow towards the baseline here, right? Boom, right there. Good recognition from Jones. You beat him on that path, and that's an and one. Here, again, really nice pass here from Eli Brooks, knowing that, hey, he's got the defender behind him, right? Right here, Eli Brooks, he's one, right? Look at his momentum. He's going to drive this lane. This defender is moving in the wrong direction. You're going to drive this lane and cause some havoc on who has to come help, right? Someone's going to have to abandon their person, uh, their, their offensive player, in order to help here. That just happens to be right here. It's very smart. He attacks the open space, right? He's going to attack right here. That's going to pull in this defender away from Dickinson. Nice little bounce pass, right? Getting the bounce pass gets it away from the hands of the and the reach of the big man and able to get that up to Dickinson for a nice, easy dunk. So Michigan really establishing themselves up now 13 in transition. Devontae Jones putting that one away. Another transition opportunity here, Eli Brooks able to turn the ball over. He had three turnovers on the game. Not the best game from him in terms of keeping the ball. Here, Houston showing off his speed. Another transition opportunity. All of a sudden, you're up 21. Eli Brooks, there's your three-pointer. What is this guy doing? I just noticed this. This guy again, what? You don't, you don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm watching this guy. He just drops the handle again. Right there. What are you, what are you doing? Anyway, hits the three. You're up big, up 24. Here, nice active hands for Brandon Johns, right? He recognizes this is a pretty good move from 33 here from Lewis. He's going to get a little bit of an open lane here. Devontae Jones uh, gets sep a little bit separated here. So nice little help here from Brandon Johns. He gets a hand in there, forces uh, a, a turnover there with some active hands. So good job from, from him there. Uh, creates an opportunity in transition, delivers it to Houston for the slam. And you're up big. Here, step back. Things are not going well for Wayne State. Just an air ball here. Brandon Johns, nice ball movement, right? Just that's exactly what you want to see here. Nice pass you, off of the drive, right? This is off a drive of Devontae Jones. And look at all the bodies. Like, all the bodies need to converge here, right? You, you got all five players right here. So because of this, able to kick it here. And then it's just a matter of reaction, right? How many players you got? One, two, three. How many defenders can adequately defend this. One can get out here, two can get out here, and this is your money, right? Boom. You don't have, none of these defenders can get out to Brandon Johns with these two already taken out by these first two passes. So boom, there's that first pass. He can defend that. Second pass defended. Third pass, Johns gets a lot of separation. Closing out big man just cannot get there, 
right? Here, good defense again, but a better offensive play. Just becomes a little backdoor cut here. Jones, Jones going for the steal there, right? He's kind of rushing that, and as a result, uh, Caleb Houston and Shutter are double teaming this guy off of um, after he picks up his dribble. So it's a good find, right? You got one one defender here in Jones, kind of closing out on two guys because you have both Houston and Shutter here. You're going to have an open guy cutting to the basket and just not able to recover in time. It's a good attempt here on the shot block, but just not in time, and that's a free bucket. Okay, there's a nice little pump fake, driving the lane, gets the and one. Um, so Wayne State here in the second half trying to get a little comeback. This is a nice little move, right? Give him credit. This is a nice move here. Devontae Jones forced to help, little spin move. Dickinson late on his help there, right? And uh, just can't get it done. That's just slightly a gold tend second of the game for him there. So Michigan a little bit flat here. Devontae Jones stops the bleeding a little bit with a three-pointer. That's a good stroke from him. There, another little step back, long two. You live with those, but Eli Brooks maybe could have closed out a little bit better. Great patience here and really good pass, right? Really, really good pass here from Devontae Jones, recognizing there's a gap here on the baseline, right? He just finds it, active eyes, delivers a bullet, and then watch the patience here from Johns, right? He recognizes, I need to get closer to the basket. One dribble, fake go up, let this one guy blow by me. And then you can go under the basket um, after absorbing the contact from that second defender closing. Really good speed here, right? I talked about the athleticism of Devontae Jones. That's in session right there with that steal. Gets the basket. Good footwork here from 32. That's a tough basket. Um, Martin able to put that one in here. Johns gets, woo, watch out. Martin came to play, throwing on that block here. And one, got to be a little bit better on defense than Caleb Houston is there. Go straight up, right? It doesn't really go straight up there. Uh, when your arms come down like that, they're going to call that almost every time. Devontae Jones coming there with the alley-oop to Hunter Dickinson. Here, Eli Brooks, right? Going for, I think this is the right move. You got to go for the uh, alley-oop here. You expect this defender to be challenging, right? To be challenging the layup here. I think Eli Brooks could have attacked the basket a little bit earlier, maybe one additional dribble before throwing it up to Musa Giabate, but he saw it, right? Giabate was going for it, and the defender correctly predicted that, right? He fell off right here. I think you got to get a little bit closer for Eli Brooks than right here uh, to adequately threaten the layup so that that defender goes in for that. So, um, good defense, but I really would have loved to see that alley -oop to Giovate. Here, just a nice feed to the corner to Eli Brooks. Four for four for him from three-point land. Number 14, Owens for Wayne State. Nice little floater in the lane. At this point, it's, what, 29-point game. This is the, the whew, this is the Giovate uh, highlight that your eyebrow is going to raise, right? Kind of like mine does right here because he's at the top of the key, right? What is he, 6'10"? A little between the legs. Dribble down the lane, little spin move between two guys with contact. Probably should have been and one. That's just beautiful, right? If he can do that on the regular and then do this on the next possession, what is happening? Look at he came out of nowhere to help on this, right? Relatively good defense, just what? Oh my goodness! So that's that's what you get with Giabate, right? Here, uh, Terrence Williams doing his best Isaiah Livers impression with a little one. One foot step back, Eli Brooks mentioned four for four from three point land, and you're up big here. Good job from Wayne State on this play, though, right? Able to beat, beat uh, I think that's Nunez, right? Beat Nunez off the dribble. He's going to attack the lane right here, right? Because he has this lane open, you have to help down here. That's going to open up one of your best shooters, number 14, Owens, on the perimeter, and that is a good three point shot here. Boom, Kobe Bufkin, freshman, getting in on the action there. Nice shot from him. Could have done a little bit better job on defense if you're Terrence Williams there. Giabate, again, showing his post moves there. Able to put that one away with a nice little hook. And, again, if he can do that on the regular, watch out. Giabate, again, affecting that shot, but good finish from Wayne State. Getting towards the end of the game here, Terrence Williams showing his versatility, getting to the rack there. Nice, powerful dribble using the left to finish here. A little weird double clutch three-pointer for Wayne State. Steal for Buffkin. I thought Eli Brooks went for 
one additional steal. Actually, you know what? I think this is probably the wrong decision or maybe a little early for Buffkin. Regardless, good transition defense there for Wayne State. And again, just too many turnovers in this one for Michigan in general. Here, tough little fadeaway shot. Got to give credit Wayne State. They started hitting some of these. That's a tough shot as well. This is something that I bet Buffkin will get yelled at a little bit in film room, right? After this three-pointer comes up, Buffkin's got to get a body, right? He's got to get a body on this guy. Instead, he's just watching, right? He's just watching with his eyes, not getting, not fighting for position against that player, and he's able to get an offensive rebound for an easy basket. Can't let that happen. Here, Devontae Jones maybe trying to force it a little bit to Giabate. Creates an opportunity in transition. And a good block, though, from Nunez. Right, falling back on that one. Going the other way, Devontae Jones to Giabate for the dunk. I believe that was an and one. Yep, there it is. He's fired up. Bench is loving it, giving high fives. Love to see it. Nice pump fake. Step in for a longer range two. Here gets the rebound 44. Giabate says no thank you. Guy tries to go up again. Contested shot. Another guy tries to go up. Miss. Another offensive rebound. Giabate said I said no thank you. Throws that one away. Just continued defensive support from Giabate, but we'd like to see not this many offensive rebounds. A little bit of a shove there. Got away with that one. Another turnover turned into a basket. Able to convert on that one for Wayne State. A uh, little bit of a miss here, but offensive rebound from Giabate going up strong, right? Good footwork down low, too. Let's go back on this. Able to go up. Get the rebound, right? I like what he does here. Keeps the ball high, right? Keeps the ball high. Need an extra dribble. Boom. Go up strong with both hands and a finish. So that's just a veteran move down low after the rebound. And uh, that's your final score here, 87-54. Let's move into stats here. Looking at the stats, Dickinson, 14 points on 5 of 8 shooting, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block for him. Giabate, right, guy I said a name a whole lot in this game here. 14 points on his own, 6 for 9 shooting, 5 rebounds, 3 blocks. Felt like 20 blocks, honestly, but 3 blocks on the score sheet. Did have 4 turnovers, okay? So was a little wild out there. Up and down game for him, but the up is uh, pretty staggering. And then Eli Brooks, 12 points, all of those coming from 3-point land, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. A few turnovers for him as well. Um, Jones and Houston had 10 points apiece, both of them uh, pretty solid pieces in this victory as well. So three key points here before I get out of here. Number one, Gibate scary, right? He's going to be a guy down the stretch to watch. His growth this year is going to be really, really fun. It's obvious the skill he has is very tantalizing. His ball handling way above what I was expecting at this level. Shot blocking was extremely valuable in this game, should be an asset moving into conference play. Uh, later on this season as he gets a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I like the post moves I saw as well. Really good footwork. Um, he looks pretty refined in that regard. Number two here, Devontae Jones is what we thought he would be. Flashed on defense with a few steals. Great passing ability. I like how strong he is through the lane, and he's super athletic. Very speedy, uh, very strong player. Number three, early game jitters were there, right? 17 turnovers, not going to cut it as you face tougher opponents. Obviously got away with it in this one. And then 16 for 24 from the free throw stripe. Got to do a little bit better than 66% from uh, the charity line there uh, in future games. So game next win. Whoa, words. Game next Wednesday, season opener against a solid Buffalo squad. Let me know your takeaways on the game below in the comments. Interested to hear your thoughts. Beyond that, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Stay safe out there. As always, go blue.